So when the body's alcohol level rises too high, too fast, memory functions are impaired. That is what you call an alcoholic blackout. And I know everybody's like, oh, no, 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 I know what an alcoholic blackout is. That's just when I get so drunk to the point where I just don't remember anything and I pass out on the floor. Wrong. With an alcoholic blackout, you're basically going to get so drunk to the point where you're not going to pass out and you're still going to be able to function, talk, and communicate, but you're not going to recall anything that you're saying or doing while you're doing it. That is an alcoholic blackout. Why am I telling you this? Oh, am I telling you this because, oh, you know, be careful, you know, it's dangerous out there, you don't want to get kidnapped and killed? No. I'm talking about something way more serious than that. I'm talking about having an alcoholic blackout around people that you have to see again tomorrow, right? With an alcoholic blackout, basically what happens is that you ever see those conservative, like, quiet people that you know who were just so friendly and calm, and then all of a sudden... Once they have like an alcoholic blackout, it's just like, whoa, they're saying all these like crazy things. They're throwing rocks. They're saying F the police. Oh, West Side, West Side, you can't get me. And they're like, whoa, this person never had any of those type of affiliations. They never did any of those things. I can't believe they're acting like this. That person is experiencing an alcoholic blackout. Or what about that girl you got the number of? Or even like girls who got the guy's number. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, you're so great. Here, take my number. I can't wait to hang out with you next week. And we're going to go do this. So then you go call the person and you're like, hey, remember, you know, we got you this number. We're going to go hang out. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? I don't remember any of that. That person's experiencing an alcoholic blackout. Or, I mean, what about sometimes the people that, you know, you start having an alcoholic blackout around. And before you know it, you start all of a sudden showing feelings to this person that you've never even had feelings for, you know? And you're all trying to get with this person that you never, like in you know reality, without any alcohol, you would never try to get with that person. But now, since you have an alcoholic blackout currently, you're now showing all your feelings and expressing your love and romance and fantasy to this person that you never even really wanted to get with ever in the first place. And then you might have to see that person again the next day. Imagine how awkward and terrible that would be. So that's why I'm telling you about an alcoholic blackout. I'm letting you know up front and warning you right now. You don't want to go through that. You don't want to go through that awkwardness. I'm saving you an awkward day, an awkward week. I'm saving you all of the having to transfer schools and having to switch jobs and do all of that. I'm saving you all of that time and warning you right now up front about alcoholic blackouts. So... Honestly, go out, have a good time, get turnt, take the shots, but just remember, be careful to where and whom you have alcoholic blackouts around.